Look, now, nice to see you again. Oh, Mr. Sharovsky, hi. What brings you down here to our fair madhouse? The 7th Avenue bus. I prefer buses, too. You can see more during the ride. Yeah, especially when they cut through the park. You know, all those green things to smell beats the subway every time. Couldn't agree with little more. See you around. Yeah, yeah, you too. Yes, may I help you? Yes, I'm looking for Doris Schwartz, please. Just a moment. Doris is in dance class. Oh. Uh, Lydia Grant's dance class, huh? Yes, and if we hurry, we can get there before the bell rings. We? Yes, wouldn't you like me to show you the room? Why, have they moved it? Now, why would they do that? <sighs> yeah. Uh, I, I'm sorry, that was a dumb question. Look, I remember where it is, but thanks for the help anyway, Mrs. Bird. You're welcome. You have to excuse me, Miss Grant. I'm just so used to being told what to do around here. You know, I'm not used to being asked. Poor baby. What do you want to do? I mean, do you want to do it or not? I mean, I could always give you a part to another dancer. Well, this is for a show, and you do want the best possible person you can get, so I So guess. that leaves me right out. <laughs> I guess that means it's me. No way, Michael. Absolutely no way. If there is a dance to be done, I'm here to trip my way to start. <laughs> Jim Hamilton, you trash. What are you doing here? You're looking just as fine as you can be. Yes, that's absolutely true. Actually, I'm here because of Dora Schwartz. I know she's hiding somewhere in this room. Schwartz, approach the bench. Yes, Your Honor. The evidence. Ladies and gentlemen of the jury, picture, if you will, a poor handicapped person oh. returning to his lonely bachelor's apartment, hoping for some peace and quiet, some warmth, a calm voice on his answering machine. He turns it on, and this is what he hears. In a choice. Um, this is Doris, uh, uh, Doris Schwartz, and I need to talk to you. Um, did I say it was from the School of the Arts? Oh, I should have. I, I was the one who did the May Me My Mama. But I was the one who, who ran the class when you had to go talk to uh, Listen, listen to me, whatever. <laughs> I have a problem with this song. I'm sounding like Marilyn Monroe. I mean, I, uh, can I start over? I'm doing this all wrong. Okay, here we go. Ready? Hi, this is Doris Schwartz. I need help. Please. You have to leave a number, Schwartz. I, I didn't. No, I didn't. Leave. I didn't leave it. Oh, those no. machines made me so crazy. Yeah. Oh, Doris, I'm glad you forgot it. Otherwise, we might not have gotten a chance to see this wonderful person. Oh, we missed you around here. Yes, I know how it is. You know, once they dance with Hamilton, they're never quite the same again. Ain't <laughs> that the truth? Yes. It took me about a month to get rid of some of those bad habits. Oh, well, if you're going to talk that way, we're out of here. Let's go, Doris. Hey, wait a minute. What, you waltz in here once a year, grab a hug, and then you're off? If you call that waltzing, madam, your program is in a lot worse shape than I thought. And you know how I am. Work, work, work. Well, when is work over? 
Just about in time to take a pretty lady to dinner. I'd love to go to dinner with you. You got it. <laughs> All right. And you, I'll see you at lunch. All right, people, let's go back to work. We got some steps to do. The French are glad to die for love. They delight in fighting duels But I prefer a man who lives and gives expensive jewels A kiss on the hand may be quite continental But diamonds are a girl's best friend Stop! Wait, you know what was wrong after just one line? Well, let's say I found something. You know, whenever actors play in My Fair Lady, they all seem to sound like Rex Harrison. Wait, you think I sound like Rex Harrison? <laughs> we should be so lucky. Look, I know you're not trying to sound like Marilyn Monroe, but you're taking on her song styles. Just... just be Doris Schwartz. Why don't we talk it through? Just talk it for me. Okay. A kiss on the hand may be quite continental. Oh, yeah. The diamonds are a girl's best friend. They can be, yeah. A kiss may be... What about a kiss? Visitor. Yeah. Excuse me. Yeah. Hello. Hello. Listen, we need to talk about tonight. What time, where, da-da-da-da-da. Okay. It will be dinner at 7.30. I'll pick you up at your place. Dress nicely, please. <laughs> and, oh, uh, no candlelight. <laughs> what? Okay, but why no candlelight? Because I singed my eyebrows on one of those suckers one time. <laughs> You're such a fool. Okay, see you later. Okay. All right, let's let's go on with this and keep it personal. A kiss may be grand, but it just won't pay the rental on your humble flat or help you with the automat. I think we're getting too personal. Look as good as it smells. Well, Miss Grant, I haven't seen you in here in so long. I thought maybe you found another Italian restaurant. You better bite your tongue. <laughs> Hi. How are you? Mr. Crusoe, this is Jim Hamilton. Hello, Mr. Crusoe. Mr. Hamilton, it's a pleasure. Thank Welcome you. to Caruso. We're delighted to be here. Thank you. Well, where, uh, where would you like to sit? Well, how about over there? Well, there, you got it, right this right. way. You look like you've been sucking up on those veal chops again. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you know, you ought to put me in one of your dance classes. <laughs> you got Jim. it. Jim. Alan, how are you? Good, good, good to good. see you. Alan, this is Lydia Grant, Alan Craig. Hello, it's a pleasure. Alan. This is Marsha Woods. Hello, Marsha. How are you? Hey, uh, how's the play? Great, great. Packed houses. Yeah, well, that's the way it ought to be. Look, enjoy your dinner. We're going to find a table, huh? Talk to you later. How is the veal tonight? Oh, how is it every night? Perfect. Ah, uh, but the pesce a la caruso, that's better. <laughs> well, we both had that. Oh, fine. How about a nice bottle of wine? Only if it's the Bartolino. Oh, very good choice. Very good. That's it. Prego. So, uh, we're playing. Oh, hey. The Lonely Moon. It's your play? No, no, no. I just directed it. Hey, you seem pretty well known here, madam. Oh, not me so much as the kids. They come in here all the time. That doesn't make you uncomfortable, does it? Why should it? Oh, kids. You know, how they gossip and stuff. Not these kids. Oh, hi, Miss Grant. Hi, Mr. Hamilton. Guess I was wrong about why you were in school. Hmm. 